Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brad Penovich here. We're keeping an eye on some pop-up and scattered storms this afternoon that could be severe, but we're pretty lucky that we're not really in the direct path of this stalled front because I'm going to show you why. This is causing some really crazy weather in the middle of the country. I mean, I woke up this morning and I kind of knew there would be some training thunderstorms over St. Louis area, but still blown away. Uh, some areas around St. Louis have seen 12 to 14 inches. That's a foot plus of rain just since midnight and flash flood emergencies all around the St. Louis area. You see that stalled front and that's the focus of the heavy rain to our north. So what does that mean for the Carolinas? Well, this stalled front, if it sags to the south at all, that's going to put us more in the risk for some flash flooding and maybe some strong storms. Even with the front to our north, it still, it still has the potential to bring some heavy downpours our way as the storms kind of form ahead of this main line and then move into the Carolinas later today. That'll be the concern for this afternoon. So multiple threats to worry about. First threat is the severe weather risk. I'll show you the severe weather risk right now. I'm going to turn the satellite off. I'll just show you that low risk just south and east of that front. That does include most of the Carolinas, including the Charlotte area. Um, if we go into tomorrow, that risk is basically in the same exact location. And then we go to day three. Uh, we'll go day three here real quickly. You can see along the front as well. So pretty much any day this week, you know, there's going to be the potential somewhere in and around this front for strong to severe storms. Now, it's not a huge threat. It's a low risk. It's anything that forms out ahead of it in that line um, of area where the sun is out. Now, along the front, that's where you've got real issues with flash flooding. So if we look at the the flash flood risk, I'm going to show you day one, which is the risk for flash flooding. Obviously, over St. Louis, it's in the high range you see the medium range but even the carolina is kind of in that low range for flash flooding let's go to tomorrow that risk shifts to south or excuse me to west virginia and shifts south a little bit into tennessee and parts of kentucky but still notice the western carolinas are in there and then day three obviously thursday another day with the low to medium risk for parts of the western carolinas and that heightened threat boy i do not like this setup for the mountains of west virginia so folks up there that watch me and follow me this is a legit widespread flash flood risk. That's a mountainous region. These are going to be slow moving storms training over the same location again and again. So this is going to be a real concern for the next couple of days. And just to show you the five day rainfall forecast, I mean, there's a big bullseye there of eight to nine inches of rain. I mean, that is a tremendous lot of rain in that area. So I know it's a little outside of our area here in the Carolinas, but I know a lot of folks follow me up there. Um, please be careful. That is going to be a serious situation over the next couple of days. So let's talk about the future cast going into the afternoon for us and for the southeast. All right, we start at 11 a.m. this morning. You see the heavy storms to the north. We'll go through time. I'm going to stop this about mid-afternoon, 3 o'clock. You could see storms probably developing off the mountains again. Remember, these are going to develop on the ridge tops and then work their way to the southeast. So what we'll be watching for are storms developing on those higher elevations, then drifting to the southeast. And again, the movement's only about 15 miles per hour. So slow movement's a big issue. You see the storms kind of try to organize again into a line, maybe a little bit similar to yesterday, but here's the thing. The closer you are to that stalled front up here, the higher the chance down here might be more hit or miss. So it's gonna be like the South Carolina, North Carolina border where it's kind of you know gonna be all or nothing for these storms. You see them moving through the evening hours. Again, not widespread. We're not directly under the stalled front, which is to our north. But we will see some scattered downpours. We go into tonight and then tomorrow we see the storms begin to fire up early in the day, overnight a convection we call up in West Virginia. That's where the flood threat will be. Again, overnight risk for flooding up there. As we go into the afternoon tomorrow, another round of storms develops. Same time frame, 3, 4, 5, 6 o'clock, maybe even a little bit more widespread tomorrow into the evening hours. We'll go even further out. We'll go 48 hours out and you can see going into uh, basically Thursday morning. We've got some scattered storms possibly in the morning. So let me widen this out and show you the whole loop because uh, this is a 48 hour, you know, high resolution rapid refresh. Look at the storms just lining up along that front. Now that means we're going to see scattered storms, but I would caution you the thing we got to watch out for if this stalled front up here sags south at all. This could put us more in the line of seeing these heavier downpours right now. It looks like it should be just to our north. That's why there's such a high flash flood risk for eastern Kentucky into West Virginia over the next couple of days and why parts of St. Louis are getting clobbered today, may even get clobbered again in the future. Of course, I'll keep an eye on this throughout the next couple of days, but if you have friends or family up in those areas, please tell them to be very, very weather aware. This is a huge flash flood risk for areas from Missouri into the Ohio Valley, into West Virginia, especially eastern Kentucky. Those mountainous areas where runoff is always an issue, you get rain like this, 
it's going to cause some major concerns.